the Valley of the Doomed, episode two. Hi. We're on the second episode. This is exciting. <laughs> it's been so long since episode one. For us, it has. It's been 84 <laughs> years, yeah. It's been a lot longer for yeah. us than it'll be for listeners. Yes. <laughs> you lucky devils. Right? Um, we think. I mean, they might they might take their own time between right. episodes. They want to make it as oh, real as possible. Just Absolutely. wait like two months between episode yeah. one and two. And then cancel your been. second watch, listen, and then wait another month. <laughs> well, so one of one of the people listening needs to get COVID yeah. so you can't well, listen to it. Yeah, go to Vegas, get COVID, come back. <laughs> Someone else gets COVID, come back. Yep. Here's the thing. If you go to Vegas and the only thing you get is COVID, I feel like you got off. Well, everything else stays there. there. It's kind yeah. of messed up that COVID-19 is <laughs> allowed to leave. That's true. That is, that is solid. That is a solid point. Oh. Uh, we are back to join Alda, Cedric, Gregory, and Girl. Uh, I was hey. reading off what I have on Foundry and I forgot to change it from Jess's character. I almost said that. And Jess's character. Is it G-R-R-L? You know, she doesn't know how to read or write, so sure. <laughs> girl. Girl. G-O-R-L. Girl. 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 G-U-R-L. Girl. No, I just wrote it with an I, so. So did I. Uh, but we are down, you've learned this is called the Yetzin Valley, and mm. you're at the like, yes. northwesternmost entrance to it. What was it? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trolling. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and when in doubt, ignore me. Trolling, trolling, trolling. Troll. No, so just when in doubt, ignore that side of the table. Yeah, you know. Got it. Go represent. <laughs> uh, so you uh, just found a settlement uh, called Loar. Uh, that's kind of Bretonian esque, but it's kind of got a mix of things. There are a bunch of humans, dwarves, halflings living there. Um, and they said they kind of have a relationship with a colony of elves on the other end of the valley uh, that are, you know, mostly they do trading with, but they can be a little unpredictable. Um, and you were offered like free stay in the, the High Stop Tavern and Inn by the mayor of the town, Henrietta. If you uh, help them with a, a little issue they have with beastmen in the area. The hunter for the town, Turby, a uh, little mousy man, has figured out, I'm uh, pretty sure he knows where they're like holed up by a waterfall. A waterfall hold them up? Held them up? Yes. Is holding them actively? Yes. No. Oh, like they're, they're they're actually like vampires. They can't cross the water. Oh, okay. Oh, that water. makes a lot of sense. Oh, vampire beastmen would be so scary. No. Just no. no. Thank you. <laughs> pass. <laughs> Hard pass. Uh, the end of the last episode, girl uh, took the risk and and traversed down uh, part of your switchback trail uh, to f to investigate this body. Uh, figured out it was a dwarf who had fallen off of this cliffside. Who knows how long ago and perished and she took a scroll case off of it that had some kind of note inside with a bunch of squiggles on it that she didn't know what it said yeah learn to we. read and then teach me oh <laughs> <laughs> i start scribbling in the dirt with a stick <laughs> there's oh yes oh loops. i understand i know that one very well then there's a then there's like what looks like a path and then what looks like a bunch of arrows pointing in directions <laughs> and little triangles that might be trees I mean, to be fast, not too bad. Like that's actually most of the lettuce. They're mostly arrows. Yeah, mm. that's cool. not that's not true. Don't she doesn't know any better? No, but she needs to learn. But are you going to teach her? Sure, I found you a teacher. Look Hi. at that! Already making deals. This is so good. <laughs> uh, so real quick, um, I forgot go over you were, Tim. I <laughs> totally right, did. super fast. Um, your character, uh, like name, career. If you want to reveal that, uh, I mean, obviously we know people have listened to episode zero, at least definitely know, uh, just as we get to know the characters a little bit. Um, and for listeners to get to know the characters a little bit, especially if they skipped episode zero. Hi. So we'll just go around the horn. I'm Alda Medina. I'm a priestess of Mimidia, and I can read. So I will, I will be doing the reading, I suppose, and teaching the reading. I don't know. I just like to offer my services in an attempt to make friends. You can do like everything. You can read. You can stab things with a spear. You mm. can. She can do everything. Miracles. Mm. Yes. Indeed. She can do everything. Yes. If That's that guarantees friendship, yeah. I will do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Except 
climb down hills. I go, go, I go down the places yes, in the dark and the pits and the climbing and the digging and the high. <laughs> so like I found fun. some things and I drew a picture. The picture was also on the guy's body, so the picture's now in the dirt. Hi, I'm a tomb raider. <laughs> Rogue. Maybe. You don't know that, but I do. <laughs> Just a weird little young. Are you like young? Uh, younger. I think I, uh, I have her down as 22. I, I think I rolled that or something. You're older than me. <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, that's that's ancient in ancient times. Is it? You're, ba- you're basically dead. The way you act, everybody would assume that Alda's older, though, I think. Yes. Mm. I actually assume that my character being uh, like a street rat urchin for most of her life is actually rather malnourished and skinny mm. and looks younger simply yes. because she's like sunken and thin. Mm. Tracks. And dirty. She's also very dirty. And then the opposite end of that spectrum, uh, we spectrum, have well-fed. Well-fed, portly, elderly. Uh, <laughs> what are you, like 48? Yeah, I believe so. Yes, 48. Wow, that's impressive. I have to re- I have to reference my sheet because my name is so complicated and long. You're twice Presenting. Here. Presenting. <clears throat> I am Lord Cedric von Ponce, second son, protector of his lady's chastity, second of his name, chosen of Nuffle, the master of recreation. And yes, that's me, Lord Cedric. You're twice as big and twice as dead as me. Four times. As big or as dead? Yes. yes. Twice as okay. dead? Well, if I'm 22 and he's 48, that's twice as dead. Okay. <laughs> that's true. I am not super numerate. I'm, 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 sec- okay. I'm on the second trip around. Whoa. <laughs> I've been dead. Necromancer. Very well could be. So I'm Gregory Arius. Greggles is what my friends call me. Uh, I'm a, uh, a, a tradesman. But not the type that makes things, the types that makes trades. Do you just trade things? Trades things, yes. Do you men? Uh, not currently. So, yes. Doesn't trades men? No. Yeah, that's uh, maybe if I get enough experience, that'll be something that's on the docket, but I'm not currently licensed for it. Seems like mostly what you need are a lot of men. Well, yeah, yeah. So, like, I trade with men mm. and then also with, like, not men. Beast men? Well, no, they do fall under the umbrella of men. Beast men. Mm-hmm. It's in the it's in the, the the word, but like you know, like a goblin maybe, or like a horse. Whatever you need, I'll find it or I'll buy it from you and I'll sell it to a different horse. She needs friends. Find her friends. Yeah. Once again, not in the people trade. Kind of not my thing. I but like-, like not not the people, but the the act of friendship. Oh yes, I know exactly what you're looking for. Like a, like a companion to share good times with. For money. And, and and the bad. The good and the bad. Okay, yeah, that normally yeah. is Some part of the deal. It. Yeah. Some people are into yes. that. Yeah. It's very much uh ingrained in the process. I've never had friends before. I'm learning so much about the world. <laughs> Me too. Uh, and uh who are you playing, Dan? Ari the Lance. Ari the Lance? Everything else. Oh, that's a lot. That makes a lot more sense. Um Harry the Lance does sound like a certain type of person. It really does. Someone who might be a companion, in fact. Actually, yeah, yeah. That's his. Uh, that's his uh, friendship name. That's right. It used to be a stage name. Now it's now it's uh, it's more more respite work, one on one. Yeah. For the dead people. No, not for the dead people. Well, well after, if they have after money. Had I guess. an encounter with the lance. They're dead. <laughs> 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 it only takes one. Her lance, his lance, both. Double lanced, double dead. Double the cost, yeah. Double the fun? Mm-hmm. Double it's the, mint gum. It's the statement with the great mint, that's for sure. All right, so... I'm going to tilt this. Yeah, I'm just going to peer on your What screen. do you do? No. Well, I, I thought we were last at the... Uh, we were just out on the road, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the body. Yeah. I drew a map. Like, literally, that's what she drew in the, the mm-hmm. ground, is mm-hmm. it, what looks like the road and the river, and then some mountains and some arrows. Are you all right? Uh, Georgia just uh, <laughs> nuzzled my fingers and it was very wet and out of nowhere and it just scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Baby girl, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. <laughs> oh, poor girl. Well, um, may I see the the paper with the writing? There's an excellent the, sketch on the ground. In, in the squirrel case? I pointed the dirt. That. Oh. It was on the, that gecko down there. Right, but like uh, as part of like learning how to read, you need to like cite your sources. So like, where was the source of uh, where you got this information? Point down the hill. Oh, did she leave it down there? Gotcha. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, hey, you, you, you like left it down there? Drew it in the dirt. Drew it in the dirt. Gotcha. Can you go get the case? Can you retrieve the dirt? It? No, the case. You drew it in the dirt. 
I need the case, though. What what case? The squirrel case. What squirrel case? That you had. No. <laughs> what squirrel case? No. I don't have squirrels. <laughs> Nobody carries squirrels. Don't, don't worry. Case. My man Giuseppe is on the case. I tell, I tell Giuseppe to start climbing down to retrieve the case. <laughs> fall damage. Giuseppe dies, episode one. Yeah. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> if there's a way to go, it's definitely fall damage. Yeah. So how, how, does, how does Giuseppe climb down? Giuseppe's going to climb now? Well, I mean, we, 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 we got to get the squirrel case. He can't. Uh, we don't have stats for Giuseppe, do we? No, but, but he, uh, let's assume he is as average as average could ever be average. So, Except, of 30. course, he's devilishly handsome, obviously. So we'll say it's a challenging climb test. I don't remember what it was for girl last episode. Oh, I don't know either. I assure you, I don't know what that means. But I, I do have dice. climb, so whatever it was, mm, that was pretty. So bad. it'll be a challenging climb test. We'll assume he doesn't have any advances in climb, so it's just mean? his strength. You're gonna roll equal to or under his strength. We'll say it's oh, thirty equal, as equal, average. 30, thirty is the challenging. All right. Challenging is actually plus right. zero. He failed with a sixty-three. Ooh. Three negative success levels. Yeah, down okay. he goes. Giuseppe! Wah! Trash quote. <laughs> Don't forget the case. While you're down there, look for the squirrel case. Okay. It's the one that's shaped with the tail. So he only falls four yards. Okay. Oh, that's only three times deadly. <laughs> so it's D10 plus 12? Seventeen damage. Good God. I don't know how many hit points he has. Minus three. Uh, <laughs> so, like, you look at most people, and they're like, "Hey, I have like twelve. I nice. have maybe 15. Excellent, Giuseppe. That dolt. He's been with me my whole life. <laughs> well, <laughs> he, he fell he, down. He, he's not moving. He was with you till the end of his life too. So I, I mean, so. Oh I shouldn't be laughing, but just hey, I'll have him climb down. Yeah. Dead. He's marked, right? He's he, he's done. Because he's an NPC, he doesn't have like fate yeah, points. That's yeah. great. That's great. I mean, I mean, I'm happy with that. I mean, I love. I, I was concerned about having too many characters to run. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're one less, I guess. Yeah. Hey, now you don't got to stat him up neither. So yeah, don't worry about. I started, I started standing at the edge and kind of like scratch my chin a little bit. Just happy. But he wouldn't be dead, right? He'd just be unconscious for a little bit. Um, with how? Just happy. I do believe my man is in trouble. I think he probably <laughs> ran away. Maybe. That's not running. That's falling. It's uh, uh, falling's just vertical running. He stopped. This is, uh, you know, I mean, Suddenly. I'm not going to be making a thing about this on the road, but this is your fault for not bringing the scroll case up. Oh yeah, this is kind of on yours. I don't scroll know if you case. look at your hands, but there's blood all over them. <laughs> so um, you should go back and get the scroll case. No. Well, how are we going to figure out what to do if we don't have the scroll case? Well, we do have this map. I guess we could do it off of what she drew on the ground. I'm not. I'm not in one to trust a girl. Ouch. That's, well, that's not against women. That's against girl. A girl. This girl. Yeah. No. Girl. Yeah. No. I, yeah. Particularly. Uh, but uh, can we copy down the map that she wrote onto like some parchment or something and just try to? This is becoming a game of telephone. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of a telephone. I haven't. I. But no, I've heard of the game. I haven't either. I assume it's like a. I am a master of all forms like of games I had not heard of yet. Some type of instrument, maybe? I have no clue. Okay. Yeah, I, I was just shooting shots in the dark there. But the Dan, uh, Mr. Dan? Yeah? Can I, like, draw this map down on, like, a piece of paper? Do you have paper with you? Obviously. Why would I ask if I didn't? Don't check my character sheet. What do you got in your trappings? <laughs> Don't check my character sheet. <laughs> Uh, clothing, dagger, pouch, two candles, four matches, a mask, a sling bag, and a stolen shit. Oh, it just says stolen shit. I don't remember what that is in reference to. A singular stolen yeah, shit. Yeah, just one stolen shit, please. Oh my goodness. What did we steal? Did we steal something? No. I don't know why I looked to you immediately. I just assumed if we stole something, it was you and me, but... <laughs> So does that, I'm just curious. Um, we, we they were concerned about their people coming back from the dead. Is that right? That's why. They or were... that it would attract beastmen. Oh, I see. So there's no chance that zombie Giuseppe is happening. No, but yes. I wouldn't say no chance. Okay, all right, yeah. Always chance. Yeah, I guess it's never a no. But it, and I honestly could attract wild animals, so we should probably uh, bury him, dig him up, burn him, burn him. 
Burn I'm not sure if we away. bury him, that would give her something to do. You are like a couple miles from the town at this point. I hold out my hand. If that matters. Oh yeah, it is her vocation, I suppose, to, to, to dig graves. Dig him up, bury him. Um, good GM, Den. Mm-hmm. What Get a squirrel thing. If I wanted to make a, Give me a blessing, a, a prey test, what skill is that based on? Prey. I know, but... Oh, fellowship. Huh, I did have it written down. Okay. <laughs> oh, what characteristic is prey based on? Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, fellowship. Okay, so... I will retrieve the squirrel case because I'm heroic and brave in every way. But before I do that, I God, one of us is. Ray, for the, yeah, for the I, actual record, she did take it. She's just not giving it to you. <laughs> I have it. So go down just, the hill. Just oh, it's fine. Just Don't say that. Let's just go down won't. first. Let's see what happens. Nothing bad ever well happens. We climb down something. We're well aware. Well, but we're not aware. But yes. We are yes. Aware. Okay. Right. We're, we're playing the good yeah. in and out of character line. I just, it's been a while since the game. So <laughs> I'd like to pray and Bless myself with Mamidia's good fortune. Okay. So as if I roll to climb and I fail it, I can re-roll mm. for free. Yo, that's that's really good. It just like gives you a fortune point? On the next task, I'm assuming. The next failed test may be re-rolled. I'm very excited for us to all die trying, really to, good. trying to collect this mm. squirrel box. That we already have? That we already have. <laughs> right. <laughs> failed. Never mind. How it should have ended. Feel Not your- ended. <laughs> Prayer test? I did. Oh, okay. what'd you roll? Uh, you failed. Uh, 72. So not a fumble. No. All right, so next time, here's what to do, right? You pray ahead of time so that if you fail your prayer... You're ready to go. You you can re-roll it. I pray for a re-roll in the prayer. Yeah. Oh. Right? Perception. All right, let's look at the map that girl drew and try mm. to discern some kinds of facts or information. Oh. <sighs> Is there like a clear part, like where it looks like there's the town and maybe where we're supposed to be headed on this dirt? I hope you're asking Jess, because I don't know. I am going to attempt to. Uh... <laughs> I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she drew in the dirt. All right. I will attempt to, to send you a picture of, of maps. Wow. Map spaces. She actually made it. Cedric, meanwhile, is still standing at the edge, just sort of like every few like moments or so being like, just hit me. <laughs> 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 Giuseppe? I almost feel bad for Cedric. And yeah, it, it kind of seems like he perhaps uh, is not fully grokking the concept of mortality. Mm. Oh, I love that. He just, he's basically just kind of like, all right, yes, you're doing, uh huh. Giuseppe, it's enough. That's I, enough, Giuseppe. I sent a Come. map. The only thing that wouldn't be on her version are the actual words because right. she can't word. Mm. So exp- it just like squiggles. She can't word. Does anyone have navigation and could make something this? Let me let me ask you this. Has anyone in any one of these games that we've played ever taken navigation? No. It's almost like it's universally helpful and you guys no. still haven't picked up on that. <laughs> <laughs> no. But no, I still don't want me into that group. I know nothing. You're part of that group now. My default intuition is actually pretty decent, though. I could attempt the navigation, right? It is a basic skill. Sure. Mm. You've seen the valley from on high. Like, I don't think yeah. it's impossible for yeah. you to put things together. And like, like you know, if you were going to put words to it, like, this is probably an average check. It's out of combat, right? Um, I'll allow it. Okay, two success levels then. See, it would have passed even if it was an average. Nope, it would have been negative zero. Oh, I see. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, so looking at this map, <laughs> I love that this, the map that, that just shared in the chat is directly from the book and it's so good wait it did look like you just drew that no. and took a picture of it okay. <laughs> I screenshotted the thing Dan gave me and that's, like, uh, uh, that's real good <laughs> it looks like a child's drawing yeah right um, so you can see where it says the road to the high pass well, no, because you still haven't shown people what it says, right? The words the words can't be on it because she can't write the words. So. All right, we got a bunch of upside-down Vs and then an upside-down 
really strong W. So you can kind of figure out that like she's drawing the valley and a river down the middle that you could see from before. So okay, putting together this picture and what you saw coming into the valley, you can kind of figure this out and you're like, oh, we're actually not that far from the waterfall. It'll be on the west side of the valley. So it should be to our right. And Turby's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's where we're going. Yeah. Great. Turby. Thanks, Turby. You're, you're the best, man. Delighted. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably just real tired. He's tuckered out, man. That was a, was a long fall. It was a long fall. I've hit him so much harder than that. He's fine. Well, yeah, but like he, he probably hit a bunch of rocks on the way, too. So it'd probably be like being hit by my you, like, shoulders are like rocks. And that man has and, taken my shoulders so many times over the years. All right, that, so that answers my follow-up question. Okay. Yeah, he's fine. Giuseppe! <laughs> Still not moving. We'll get him on the way through. Back. Yeah. Maybe he'll catch up. Yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Giuseppe, we're going to be headed down uh, the river here, right? Uh, we're going to cross uh, the waterfall or something, probably. Uh, we'll leave uh, breadcrumbs. Arrivederci! Yeah. That's racist. <laughs> I'm from Italy. <laughs> Giuseppe. Yeah, this was a good this was a good drawing girl. Very Thanks. good. Very good. I pat her on the shoulder. That means we're okay. friends. Oh, okay. Alright, look at these two. Thanks. Onward. I feel like all this is getting weirdly creepy. I'm here Just for it. Just want friends. I'm here for it. What's uh, yeah, so Turby's like, yeah, we're like three, three miles or so. We got a little ways to go. Uh, I'm sorry that your, uh, friend there fell down. That, that wasn't good. He'll walk it off. Is it like I'm some, sure. like, blood, like, smeared along the, like, like along the rocks? <laughs> it's just caved in down <laughs> yeah, there. Like. Right. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's definitely a pool of blood that's just slowly growing. Yeah. And Turby's like. Like his face has gone white and he's just like, eh. anyway, he, he fell on some grapes, probably. <laughs> okay, grapes. yeah, yeah. Are you, are you, wine. Are you ready? Wine. That's mm -hmm. quite the yes. nosebleed he has down there. We're ready. Okay, um, real gusher. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Um, yeah, okay. So he's like even more weirded out than usual. Um, but he, why are you weirded out? What's wrong? Well, that that man just died and nobody seems to really care. You can't bring too much attention to it. I oh, to bury okay. him. You what? He doesn't need to be buried. He's fine. Okay. He's being silly. He does this all the time. He fell like four oh. yards. He's probably fine. He'll walk it off. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many times over the years Giuseppe has pulled silly pranks like this all the time. It is annoying. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy's shoulders. If he's been hit with these shoulders before, that falls going to get nothing to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so after about another hour here, you're heading down the valley, but you're like not totally down into the valley. You're heading um, like south, uh, but not getting further. You're not, you know, declining lower elevation. What am I trying to say? Uh, <laughs> but after about an hour of this, you get to um, this kind of serene looking area where there's a stream coming out there's like a cliff face in front of you and you can see a waterfall coming out from a hole in the cliff well turby so that uh kind of looks like uh butt crack rocks oh so pretty i i think the i think the beastmen live in there in the butt crack part or the hole uh the the hole where the water's coming out from that crack is too small for anybody to get in all right so i would like to make <laughs> not gonna respond to that <laughs> oh, <Lord>. <laughs> Warfare. Whoop. I'm starting to sound like Tim. I want to make a lore warfare check to see what the best approach would be if we think that the beastmen live in here. Okay. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. You um, So make it challenging just because you don't know much about this except that he says there's a space inside. Yeah, 90. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Sorry. So he's like, uh, yeah, I, I've seen beastmen come in and out of here once or twice, so I, I think they live in here. Right. Is, well, our, is our goal to just go kill these beastmen, or are we like... They want you to take care of the problem. Want to yeah. take so, yeah. care of the problem. Why don't we... Set it on fire. Check the perimeter first. Gauge the activity level. Look for 
tracks or footprints or or signs that would say like welcome home beastmen mm, yeah. and then we can know for sure I, I must i must i must say i i'm a little preoccupied but just looking at this they want us to solve their problem do we know if the door is this the only way in and out does the boy know i i've only seen him go through here yeah does this cave, does it connect to a larger cave system as far as you know? I think I would assume I haven't been in. I'm not going to go in there with a bunch of beastmen by myself. Because we could just, you know, plug the butt. Oh, like uh, you could you could get like a like a butt plug. Yes. Okay, that's not a bad idea. And then they'll just kind of get starved out. But I'm thinking perhaps some form of cave-in. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a natural cave, it looks like, so there's probably another way. And if they live here, maybe they've made another way. I I don't know. How I assume so. Wasn't this the place hole. where we were thinking about you building an arena though? Was inside this thing or no? No, I'm looking at yeah. it. It needs to be an outdoor venue. Oh, gotcha. I was gonna ask, how high off the ground is this hole in this little waterfall? The waterfall the hole is forty feet up. Oh, okay, because that picture is deceptive. The the picture the tree in the picture is much closer than it first appears. Okay, so I'm trying like, to imagine that there's a, way, there's a way that we can solve this without having to then go on the adventure at all. <laughs> uh, girl is going to actually just like go up and start poking around the ground area to see if it's climbable and if there's footprints on the ground, like she said. Like, like at the base of the yeah. the tree. Do you have track? Uh, no, but I have perception. No one ever has track. No. There's very few careers that get it. I have secret signs. <laughs> what? Gilder or something? Uh, just secret signs. Well, that's a grouped skill, so it would have some, something in parentheses with it. Yes. <laughs> Probably Gilder. Uh, all right, so I'll let you make an oh, yeah. average perception test. Uh, Alda can do this too, but she said you're up there looking as well. Nah. Average, you say. Plus 20. Delightful. That is three success levels. Wow, okay. So you go up there and you realize that there's like... Um, another like little switchback path back and forth up like near the cliff face mm. that you could probably just walk up. Mm. We wouldn't even need to climb and you definitely, it looks well traversed. Like it's a path that's been flattened. It doesn't, you know, it looks like it's been in use. Mm. I found a path. Oh, hey, I go up it. Okay. Well, hey, maybe we, uh, you know, like kind of not go like right up the middle, but like off to the side a little bit. So that way, if someone else comes down the road, they're not like, hey, look, there's some not beastmen. Hmm. I mean, you figure you could walk up there and I get like closer a to minute. the wallage and I keep walking. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Cedric takes out his knife and goes over to the tree because there is a tree there. Yes, we've established. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he begins carving in the tree. Now, apparently, I, despite being a noble, don't actually know how to write. Um, but I've been exposed to written documents my whole life, being as I am a noble. So I think I know how to write. I think you and know enough to like, have, write your initials or something. Well, and I certainly have a very high level of confidence. Hmm. So I begin scratching what I believe is a note that says... Giuseppe, we went in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> do wow. I, do I need to uh do I need to write like uh sorry, do I need to like roll to see how accurate my my poor uh my poor sign is? No, I mean you don't know how to write that, yeah, so I'm just like very concerned that Giuseppe will be confused and I want to know how confused mm. he is when he reads it later. <laughs> You've picked up enough that you just you kind of write a bunch of random letters. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Is that like a, like a secret code or like a, is that musical notes? <laughs> the music of my soul. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's uh, very. Uh, no, you can't read. You can't. You can't. You can't. Can you not read? Oh, I can. I can read. Uh, that's. I'm not that's sure why you can. I, I'm that's not why sure I was, you can. Uh, I absolutely can. So that says, uh, I believe, uh, Abel, 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 uh, and then just a bunch of T's. Why are you saying Abel, Abel? There's no F's in that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, listen, so maybe it's a dialect thing. Uh, so, or, or you're, you know, I just, you know, if you want help uh, with with this, you know, just, you know, I'm more than happy to. Oh, yeah? But. Hmm. Well, my wrist is getting sore. Yeah, so uh, why don't you, why don't you pick, uh, catch me up. 
to, and uh, I'll take over where you left off. Okay, yes. Well, as to what I've written so far is Giuseppe. Huh? Yeah. You lout. Yeah. Due to your ineptitude. Ineptitude, uh, ineptitude, yep, okay. Yeah, that's where I've gotten to. And now I'm going to say, we've had to proceed without you into the dark orifice. Okay, so uh, we're... At, at this point in, in their dialogue, I've reached the hole and I'm peeking my head in. <laughs> All right, so you see uh, up here, now that you've climbed up, uh, the, you know, walked up the cliff, you get to a ledge that is all um, slick and wet from sp the spray of the waterfall. Mm, yes. So once you get to this ledge, it becomes more uh, treacherous, your footing. So you will have to actually make I don't um, like it. I'm not climb tests. No. They're not terribly difficult, but to walk around up here. You do see a very small opening. I'm not sure you don't. You can see it on hers. Yeah, I'm stalking yeah. off Danny's camera. Um, so you can see a really tiny opening and then the waterfall. And the water, like the opening of the waterfall is a few feet above the water level. Right. This is like an actual topographic map. Like, Honestly, these look like sphincters. It's because they're buttholes. Sorry. It's like a valley of sphincters, yeah. Those are trees, like you're looking down. Mm, on yeah, too. that's not what that looks like. It's where a tree could go, probably, but... The whole this tree like goes something in the bubble? from chaos. Uh, I mean, one at a time, I suppose, but uh, I am going to finish up uh, that, that letter to Josette. I didn't want to keep the, the, the butt joke going on. But like, <laughs> it's now, gonna... now, now that you've returned it, right? I, I, when Dan was talking about it being like wet and slick as we were approaching it, I was just like, wow. Like, this is all <laughs> so much. It, it just well, writes itself for you. And then you see the map, and they've obviously visualized it for yeah. you, too. Mm -hmm. So To the small hole. All right, the so you gotta go. Slick. Yeah, work our way up. That's a good. That's a like, yeah, it's like yes. trainer caves. You're going first. Yes. Okay. Do you want me to make a test? Yes, making an average <laughs> climb test. Okay. Dan's having none. <laughs> Bullocks. Uh, Oops. Uh, negative two. Okay. Uh, you can make a second average climb test to not fall. Can I? Or you can fortune point to reroll that one. Join Giuseppe. I made a second test and I passed it. All right, so you like slip on the slippery rocks as you get to this. There's like a little opening in the wall. Mm -hmm. Can I say I use like my my pole arm to like stop? Like my legs go out and I like. Yeah, woo! you catch yourself with your spear and then like stand back your up. pole axe. Yeah. Um, you don't quite fall over the edge, but you realize you would have fallen. Whew. It's very slippery up here. Quite slick. Careful. I you clapped and help said good that. job. A friend. Hmm. A friend? If only you had some. If only. I clapped and said good job. Thank you, girl. <laughs> She's my biggest fan. Wow. So far. I had one friend once. Uh, but you were able to just barely catch a glimpse there as you were falling, and you just see, like, uh, looks like a carved hallway. Like, not natural rock. Oh, it's been carved. So it was intentional sphincter shape. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dirty, dirty beastman. <laughs> My turn. So average is plus 20, climb. Wow, a 74 on a 72. So zero negatives. All right, so you can uh, spend a fortune point or beseech the dark gods to reroll that or take she had again, an extra roll? Or do it again to not fall off oh, okay. the cliff. To basically catch yourself as you're slipping and falling. Uh, that time I passed. Okay, so same kind of thing. You go over there like, whoa! It was slicker than you first thought on the rocks here from all the water, the spray of the waterfall. I, uh, uh, but you also grab onto all the spear real yeah. quick. Oh, yeah. Thanks, and don't man. quite fall over the side. And I... So this is a strength test? Yes. Climb is strength, yeah. Mm. I think that I should supervise from below. Hmm. But it is average, which means you get plus 20. Yes. <laughs> Can I crawl in the hole from where I am? The opening here does not look like you could fit into it. It's like a... It's like a window? It's a slit in the wall. I see. Don't be gross. I hesitate to use that term, word. but... <laughs> Better than the word crack. So I'm I'm it, I'm confused. Are we are we trying to find a door here, or is this just like a, a, a peek in point? I it's the, a peek in point. I thought, the, be, I thought the beast men went through here. That's what he's saying. So they're small beast. They're small beast men. Little beast men. 
baby beast men. Tiny beast men. So Tur- Turby like kind of followed you up the way here. He doesn't quite go to the, the topmost ledge where you get uh, where at least Alda and Girl are. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, no, they went in and out the the waterfall tunnel. What? See. What? What? Keep going. The lower orifice. No, keep going. So, the, yeah, to your, for those of you up on the ledge, is to your left there, ah. where the waterfall comes out. Keep going. Since so it get all wet. We're like close to it, but not there yet. All right. See, we're looking, we're looking into four. We need yeah, to go into one. Yeah, we gotta one. go to one. Do I need to make another test? Yes. <sighs> Let's climb back down. Ha! 24. All right, so as you walk that way, you realize, um, like where you almost fell, there's actually like an old wood. Um, there was a wooden ladder mm-hmm. that has been hauled up and broken to pieces, but there are like two metal spikes in the ground there that were holding it. Mm-hmm. But you don't really need it with the, the path. But here. OK, so you see here that there's about four feet of tunnel above the water. As I you're standing like at the entrance of the tunnel. Yeah. And yep. you, you can it gets dark very quickly inside mm. up there is a fair bit of light coming in through the tunnel you can see it leads to a larger room and based on what you can see on the map here you see some wooden structure beyond of some kind probably like a check-in kiosk or something where we sign guest names and times in and out or whatnot um i also make it to this entrance because i passed my climb check and i'm going to poke friend in the leg and say you go i go all right. Is it? Do we have Hello. to? Do we have to go to, uh, up the first climb to get to where they are? Or yes. We just got gotcha. So you don't have to cl- to get up to the ledge. You don't have to make any tests. Oh, okay. To to walk along the ledge right in front of the waterfall is where it's all slippery. Gotcha. And that's a climb to walk across the the slick. Yes. Okay. Average climb. Ninety four. I'm sure you've got some fortune points. Or you could uh, ask for some help from all them. your characters are gonna fall off waterfalls. Beyond, Tim. it's just what, kind of what they do. It's really fun. I think everyone should try it at some point. Giuseppe, honestly, uh, lost out on the opportunity. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, fortune point. Okay. Uh, yeah, flying colors. That's a fifteen with average. It's like four or five success levels. Okay, take. so you're able to traverse these slippery rocks. And so I have to do the same. Yes. Cedric's gonna follow. Can we like? Uh, Cedric's gonna look wistfully. Sorry. But. Can I can I like throw him a rope or something so it's a little bit more stable? Maybe make it like an easy test. Do you have rope? I don't know. Do I? He has stolen shit. I stole shit. <laughs> the sling bag though could work for that. I'd be I'd be like concerned of your ability to have to mount of this brawn. And- oh yeah, if you fall, I'm letting go. But like at least yes. it'll help you stabilize a little That's bit. That's all right. I'm very athletic. I can tell. He's not actually, but he. He thinks he is. Yeah. He thinks he is. Yeah. You're constantly wearing that sports jersey, so I just assumed, time. yeah, you were varsity or yeah. something. Uh, with one more look back, uh, you like kind of like skying the horizon. You, you can't quite hear what he says, but it sounds like he's kind of muttering. Like, just... oh. and then, uh, he's going to attempt to climb up as well. 36. All right. That sounds like good, especially yeah. on average. Yes, indeed. I've passed. All right, so you're all standing here on the ledge or just within that tunnel, and you can all see down there's four feet from surface of water to the top of this tunnel. That was actually pretty quick for a guy your size. You're kind of like a snapping turtle. You're just a little surprised at how quick they move sometimes. <laughs> it's all the practice. Yeah. The athleticism. That's right. The nimbility. I've heard I've heard that's a word. Nimbility. Mm-hmm. Interesting. It's a great slogan. Nimbility. It's like nimble nobility. Yeah. Yeah. That's not exactly what it is. I can, I can appreciate that. <laughs> Has no F's in it. We go down the tunnel. That's accurate, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I have night vision. Okay. So girl tries to make her way through the tunnel. Um, and once you step into like the water proper, you whoosh, splash down in. It's four feet deep. Ooh. Um, so your head is probably just bare. Like, I'm not sure how tall girl is. Five ten. So you're, it's like, you know, to your torso is it cold yes it's, it's cold. very cold wait you have you, what are you again you have night vision and you're somewhat tallish yeah humans can get night vision with random talents what really yeah it's on the list huh just didn't roll it nerd i Listen, live at night oh yeah i got you it's like uh a night owl. riddick or something over here <laughs> right <Hoot, hoot. laughs> riddick <Hoot, hoot. laughs> 
Uh, now give me a strength test. Or athletics. Goral. Mm -hmm. That is a 10. All right. So you like are able to push against the flowing water with relative ease as you move along the tunnel. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. I think I'm swimming. That's all that matters. <laughs> right. Luckily, you can touch. So you don't have to actually make swim tests because we right. know how bad everybody is at that. Swim is a skill. Must be an advanced, it, yeah, it's an advanced skill. Yeah. Uh, I'll go next. Okay, so give me just uh, strength or athletics, if your athletics is better. I know they're based off different characteristics, but... They're actually uh, exactly the same. I'm not going to tell you which one I'm rolling, though. Okay. Three success levels. Wow, all right. So you're right behind girl, and you Good. see uh, as you go... Um, it was a heavy flow in this hole, but we pushed through. Only after about eight yards or so, you see uh, the it opens up into a larger room. Oh, gotcha. All right. So I'll just put you guys in the room for now. And Do I need to roll the others. So just this is this point. It's challenging. Right. So it is. Um, what do you call it? Plus zero. Plus zero strength or athletics. No, I definitely failed. With. I see athletics is based off of agility. So I, I failed by to two levels, 65 on 40. All right, so you step into the water and the, the coldness just shocks you to the point where you don't make any headway. You don't like get pushed back, but you just kind of, you, you need to get better footing before you can actually proceed. I have sensitive nipples. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so can I catch right again? Yes. I also failed. <laughs> Ooh, 93. My nipples are freezing. Getting harder Good cut by glass. the glass. <laughs> um, so at this point, I'll let Alda and uh, Cedric uh, just kind of roll until you succeed. But let me know if you roll a fumble, which is doubles and a fail. Ooh, doubles and a fail. I rolled a 98, <laughs> heading in the wrong direction. That's so close. I didn't say automatic fail, but... I rolled an 8. There you go. Ooh, sorry, George. All right, I made it. But I, I had to roll an 89, an 89 and a 98 first. Sometimes that's what it takes. I mean, still didn't fumble, so that's better. That's not nearly as bad as it could be. So am I out of the water now? Yes. So you're still in the water, but in this room, once you get to this room, the flow is much, it, you know, it's not as concentrated down this little tunnel. So the water, you can just kind of walk around in it. It's a big pond. I am concerned. Giuseppe is not a strong swimmer. <laughs> you know, maybe he'll maybe he'll just wait outside for us. He's too loyal. Mm. He's a good good uh, good good stock that uh, Giuseppe. I'm going to immediately Giuseppe. look around the room for things that are not nailed down. All right. So in this room, it says clearly been carved out. This is not a natural chamber. It's square. Um, you can see and hear the the roof of the the ceiling is 10 feet above the water level. Um, so you're not as, you know, it wasn't really claustrophobic because you even, you know, standing in four feet of water, it was kind of like eight foot ceilings. We see here, there is a wooden bridge that runs uh, east to west. You can see on the map there with, um, this is an archway at each end of the bridge. It's just above the water and on the bridge are a pair of winches and you can see a chain running up to a hole in the ceiling on the north end of the bridge. No stuff? No bones? No, everybody can make an average perception test here. 98. 12. Percept, percept. Success, but no levels. Perception is based off of intelligence. Initiative. Initiative. Ah. Oh. I passed. All right, so everybody- I have five levels. Five. Wow, everybody but Gregory. I matched. Uh, you notice that like there's a similar tunnel Gregory. underneath so, the bridge, yeah, continuing it, in the, the direction you just came further into the cave system. I just get distracted. My sacks are wet. Uh, with this, with a lower ceiling there, but you see there are uh, like the archways are also doorways to the east and west. So okay, so the river goes under the bridge and keeps going up. Yeah. And then there's a door on the bridge and the door on the bridge. Can I go listen? To the doors and see if there's stuff there. 
Like yep. your stuff? Yes, yeah, so you can easily climb up onto the bridge. Mm. Yes, out of the water. Um, so they're door, like they're archways. They're not actually doors. Mm. Oh. Um, so you can, once you climb up there, you can just see that there is a tunnel um, leading to the left, to the west, a tunnel leading to the right with some stairs heading down to the west. There's stairs heading up. Up or down. What is the architecture like? Is this... Uh, Always go down. Is this like like carved out of stone? Or yes. Is this like, so this is just like some of the axes like... Chopper. It looks... Oh, so it's like, been carved with a skilled fixed. hand okay. for sure. But worn. It seems old. Very old. Always go down. Going down. Down the stairs. So I we're heading down. to the east. Yes. It's mm. good life advice. All right. So you can easily climb up on the bridge that is just above water level. So um, you can get up there and start heading east. I make patterns with my footprints as I walk. Naturally. Um, so then you see that the hallway that you saw That's from earlier. You see the arrow slit at the end of the hall down to the south. Um, so there's a, sm uh, a tiny bit of light coming in through the arrow slit. Once you step here, you see that there is a hall, another hallway to your left that leads to the east. It branches off from the hallway that you're looking down. All right, let's go. I run directly to the slit in the wall and look out the people. All right, so you see an, uh, another hallway heading to the east. And at this point, it's very, very dark. Uh, you have night vision. Does anybody else have night vision? Uh, negative. No. no, with mostly humans. So right now, nobody, uh, there's the tiny bit of light that's coming through the arrow slit doesn't really uh, reflect down this hallway at all. Just kind of holding the person in front of me just to be like a I guide. I solidly going in last place. Okay. Just your heavy breathing is actually very comforting, knowing <laughs> that you're still there behind you're me. You're also hearing me muttering, you know. Just yeah, that too. Just at me. It echoes down the hallway. Just, just at me. me. These beast men are going to think they're haunted. <laughs> yes. Do it louder. Do it more. <laughs> right. So, um, so girl can see here, but how is everybody else going to see down this hallway? Just following God. What do I see down this hallway? Like um, with your night vision, you get to a point where you see a door. A stout uh, wooden door that's like iron banded. All right. Uh, I walk down the hallway until I get to the door and then I stop. Uh, I, I bump into the person in front of me, probably, if we abruptly stopped. Yeah, <laughs> same. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. My heightened reflexes allow me to stop, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Would you feel my belly graze your back? I'm oh. going yeah. to... <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Gently graze his back or his butt. <laughs> Both. I think it's a bug or something. I just, like, swat at it. Like... <laughs> oh, I am, gross. I'm going to very gently test the lock. Okay. Like a loyalty test? Like an is it locked test? Oh, That's yeah, that, that, that makes going. a lot more sense. Chunk, 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 oh, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. It gotcha. doesn't seem to be locked, but it, you can't seem to get it to budge. This sounds Am I job pushing when I should be pulling? Man. It does, actually. Uh, you try both ways, and you can't seem to get it to move. Hmm. Can I feel along the edges of the door? See if it's, like, jammed? Oh, yeah. Is it, like, There's, like, tight? no, there's, like, no space. Stupid door. What is happening? Yeah, what's going on up there? It's a stupid door. It's like locked or? No. Is a bard maybe on the other side? Maybe. Uh -huh. Stuck. Is a bard on this side? No. Oh. All right, enough of this. Out of the way. Uh, you can hear uh, in the oh. darkness. I think very, I hear like a hoof scrape or very, something. Very, <laughs> very, a very loud man going. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm just gonna scoot right by you real quick. So you just like uh, smash your way into the door. Well, I'm. Is uh, this a one person hallway? Yeah. So that's my question. Is like. Yeah, we have to get. I out. mean, they could like, you no, know, no, oh. No. no, no, I'm gonna get out of the hallway if he's gonna bullet like ram. That made sense. Yeah. I could use a friend. Two shoulders are better than one. My All right. My shoulder is little. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to bull rush and throw my full body weight against the door. Okay. And I'm going to snag my friend here on the way. For the aftershock? Whether, yeah. whether, whether or not she's ready, actually, and throw her body weight into the door with me. All right, okay. so I'm going to let... Um, so Aldo is going to assist here. This is going to be a challenging strength test. Oh, I'm born for this. Uh, and the assist gives you a plus 10. Born for this. So, my, so this wouldn't be athletics? 
That's all right. I'm strong too. I'm just kind of like feeling around. Girl, are you here? You can see this, right? Yeah. Can you describe it as it's happening to me? <laughs> Boulders. So oh, nice. 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 All right. So you don't even realize where the door actually, is. Actually, so two, two levels of success. Right? Nice. Because it's below. Um, so you crash into this door and there's a lot of resistance and then it just kind of breaks. Um, but like the wood is kind of like rotten and everything. You may have experienced this in your man said times where sometimes when it in the real wet months, the, the wood can expand a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, so it was very stuck. Spongy. And so you crash your way into uh, a relatively small room. Um, so there's a lot of smashed, rotten wooden furniture scattered about the room, um, including the remains of a door uh, to the north, uh, northeast. Uh, so this sooty deposits decorate the ceiling above rough metal brackets in the center of each wall. Brackets on the south and west walls are twisted into grotesque shapes. Scrawlings and daubings cover most of the walls, varying from simple crude drawings to sophisticated runic letters. Ugh. Well, unfortunately, uh, uh, I do have to de de derail us for a moment because Lord Cedric is taken over by the joy of his uh, of his successful tackle and immediately begins showboating, saying things like "Yeah!" <laughs> and grabbing <laughs> objects and smashing them on the ground because the adrenaline is coursing through him. Uh, That's how we do. I. <laughs> That's how we I, it's just not worth it without a touchdown dance. Like it's just not worth it. Girl proceeds to pipe up and go. They broke the door. I, yeah. So I actually. So I, I kind of put that together, but I've already left you there. Are there any? Uh, wait. Well, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> like wall sconces or anything like that. Yeah, those. That's what's been like oh, twisted into weird shapes and whatnot. Is the room dark? Can we see in there? It. Yeah. It's. It's like pitch black. I have left my. Trader man in the hallway and gone in the big room. Hey, so trader what, of men. So uh, I'm just kind of like feeling walls to around to try to find my way over there. I don't know if you want me to roll navigation or something, but you can hear me shouting. You at can, I am. I would like to follow the noise. Yeah, you can see the entrance to the hallway and then okay. you hear them. Yeah, a burly silhouette in the in the glim darkness. <laughs> Is Thank any you. of this broken furniture burnable? Like, can I make a makeshift torch? Sure. I have a Oh, do we want to use torches or candles? I have those. <laughs> yes. Oh, for nice. the three out of four people that can't see in the dark here? Huh? I just, I figured they were like more for like bats or whatever. I was enjoying the blind following <laughs> the blind element of this. That's yeah, kind of same. funny. So, especially because we have the unreliable narrator and that girl. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she I didn't forget there's also like a, somebody, so. yeah. a door, an open doorway to the southeast as well. Give me a candle. Uh, why? I'm not leading you around. But you'll lead everyone else around? That seems like typecasting, and that's like kind of not cool. No. No. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. I'll follow the others and not you. I walk away. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Is that, I'm just continuing to talk that. Do we have a deal? <laughs> 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 I come around to your other side and go, Candle, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Now, I'm going to need this back. I only got twos of these, okay? Match. I, I would like an affirmative that I will receive this candle back upon... Uh, wait, why do you need it? If you can see in the dark. You need it. You clearly won't light it, so I'm lighting it. Oh, not yeah, I'll light a candle for myself. Yeah, that's fine. Then we don't even need to make a trade or nothing. Yeah, I'll light, I'll light a candle. Okay. Now I have a candle, and it's lit. So it gives you a, a few feet of light. Yeah, I'll give you a few feet of light. So now you can actually see all the broken furniture and stuff in here. A uh, girl could before, obviously, but now everybody else can. Now I see it better. Um, and you see there's a doorway to the north, but it's like there was a door in it. It clearly been broken. Like there's mm -hmm. still hinges with little pieces of wood attached it's to it. already broken? Yes. And the doorway to the south is just an opening. Like there wasn't, it doesn't look like there was ever a door there. To the north. Yeah, I go through the door. I'm looking for stuff. All right. So Unbroken stuff. Yeah, if we could find more burnable things, like a chair leg or something. All right. So, like yeah, you can definitely things. find that. Yeah. What is uh, this, a room for ants? Alda enters the next room up. Um, it says this room contains some broken wooden furniture. There's a torch bracket in the middle of the south wall. There's some scrawlings on the walls. Uh, the furniture in here is in slightly better condition than that in the room you just left. 
Uh, you can recognize a pair of bunk beds. A rough, Yo! A rough table with two chairs and a large chest. <gasps> the scrawlings. I go to the chest. Some kind of weird painted stuff. Uh, you go to the chest. It's unlocked. I open it. It's empty. Poop. There's a little spider, though. I squish What's... it. Whoa! Oh. You, can't, you can't just do that. Yeah, I can. That, someone was saving that spider for later. That's why they put it in that chest. I pick up the squish spider and then I hand it to you. Uh, it looks like... Somebody broke okay. this chest open at some point. Oh, gotcha. like it, it doesn't look All like it was unlocked. All of the already been broken, and I'm very frustrated. Yeah. yeah. The can chest I, is kind of still together. Can I start making some torches out of broken furniture and yeah, stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, now, that the, now that there's light and I can see, does that mean that I can now see the runic uh, stuff, like the runes yes. on the walls? Okay. Good. Can I investigate them? Because I also, fun fact, I did, a, I did something recently. I read my character sheet, which is always... I, oh. I, I highly recommend that you do that when you play I, games. I've been playing this for like four years. I'm yeah. never going to do that. Uh, so what I, what I learned from reading my character sheet is that, in fact, I can read and write. Oh. So... <laughs> wow. So Really got close to a spit yeah. take from Tim there. That was awesome. So what I've decided is that... It was weird uh, that you could Because, you know, Cedric is so delusional, he actually just wrote his own language, and he's convinced that nobody else can read and write. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, anyway, it's becoming more and more unhinged. I love it. Yeah. Anyway, so the point being is that uh, I'd like to investigate these runes. Okay. Uh, but be aware that I am, you know, a deluded, you know, psychopath. Yeah. I mean, none of the runes really make a lot of sense. You would probably recognize some of them as uh, real old dwarven runes, mm -hmm. uh, but like painted over them um, in like, you know, looks like a probably bright red and green paint are what you have heard to refer to as auric. Mm -hmm. um, Oracles. Yes, great sages. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see things like um, we it's weirdly similar to Reichspiel, your, your own language. But what the what's been written here is like as if a child that kind of learned how to read and write mm -hmm. wrote so it all I, down. So I recognize it entirely. As in my language. Yeah, and they're, it's all just like my language. <laughs> crude writings of like the actual quality of it is crude, but the content of it is crude as well. Mm. I'm imagining you standing and looking at all of these things with like a very uh, academic, noble that, pose. At, at the museum, yes. And a mm. girl walks up next to you and I mm. copy you and I go, map? Wisdom. Uh, it says... Uh, Wisdom of the Ancients, girl. The Mama. graffiti painted over the, the dwarf runes that you can't read because you don't... I'm assuming you don't have language Kazalid. Um It says they're mostly about oh, yeah, fighting, beer, and interesting things to do with dwarves. Some of the wittier scribblings concern the alleged personal habits of other occupants of the guard room. Which you well, assume that's what this room is. That I know of many entertaining things to do with dwarves. And all of them involve not the dwarves, because dwarves are the worst. Because <laughs> they're on a block. And I hate them. And this is a true fact that Lord Cedric hates dwarves. Whoa. Talking about racist before. He's a dwarf racist. Whoa. <laughs> it's a good thing Gertie ain't here. Mm. Uh, if there's nothing to steal in this room or worthy of stealing, she's leaving. Okay. To the south. Is it... What do I need to make? Uh, do I need to make like a test or anything to make some torches out of stuff? No, you, I would say. You okay, can I use tr uh, Trade it. Engraver to put uh, my business name up, up on the side of these torches? Sure. Okay, thank you. I you have a candle, lit, so you can just light the. You have an actual torch now. Yeah, no, I'm making, making I, I would one. Make this, I would like to make a couple. Okay. So while they're investigating in the rooms and, and, and yeah. Cedric's looking at the writings, that's what Gregory's doing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did any of you guys want a torch? You can mm. carry it for me. Pre lit? No, no, I, I, uh, that's like kind of a storage fee thing there. But um, you, do you want one, Alda? Yes. Okay, you just got to owe me a favor later. Is that cool? Sure. Okay, great. Just sign here. <laughs> All right. Great. Here you go. One uh, Gregarious Garner's uh, torch. No torch. Interesting. Do you want a torch? No. You want two torches? Negative. Okay. Two if you have three, you could juggle. No. <laughs> All right. So all the she thought about it. <laughs> to the room to the south, and we'll yes. find out what's in there next time. Come back for episode Woo! three with torches. Uh, which button was it? The middle no. one. The middle one. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay.
Gotta wait for it to stop. <laughs> this is a long entry song. 